In this video, we'll explore how to add and manage payers. Payers are the insurance companies you will be sending your claims to. It is best practice to partner with your payers to ensure you are configuring your records to meet their requirements. Users with the payer permission are able to create and edit payer records. Let's get started. To add a new payer, navigate to the Customer Setup section, then select Payers. To create a new payer record, click New Payer. You will be asked if you want to configure a clearinghouse connection for this payer, meaning you would like to send claims electronically. If you are planning on mailing claims to this payer, click No. Enter search criteria to locate the payer. Once you have the payer selected, the Clearinghouse Connection side panel will display all of the payer products this payer supports. Within this panel, you can also see if an agreement is required and if your provider has one on file. After establishing a connection with the payer, enter the payer and plan name, then use the dropdown to select the payer type. The default charge status dropdown menu defines the default status for any new charge billed to this payer. For example, should charges be sent electronically, are you planning to print and mail the claims, or should the charges be placed in a hold status. The Clearinghouse Processing Mode drop-down menu tells the system how the Clearinghouse should process the claim. For example, should they send the claim electronically, or drop the claim to paper. Next, enter the payer's contact and address info. If this payer requires any other ID numbers, enter them into the ID number section. If the payer has a different address on file for your practice than what is entered into CMD, check the Use Alternate Practice Information box and enter the practice info. Within the right-hand side panels, you will find tabs for notes, alerts, and billing options. The notes section is a great place to leave any important information regarding this payer for your team to see. Alerts are a great tool to ensure your team is aware of any important information. They will create a pop-up message whenever this payer is used in CMD, for example, if they are selected on a claim. The Billing Options side panel is broken up into two tabs, General and Provider. The General tab contains options and settings that alter some fields within a professional or institutional claim. The Provider tab is used if a payer requires your providers to be billed differently than other payers, or if additional ID numbers are required. For example, let's say most of your payers require your provider to bill as a group, but you have one payer that requires your provider to bill as an individual. Click the Customize for Additional Providers link to get started. Use the Provider drop-down menu to select the providers you need to customize. Once you have selected the provider, you will be able to change the Status drop-down as well as the Bill Mode drop-down. Any information entered into the Individual ID field will populate in Box 27J Shaded, while the Group ID field will populate in Box 33B on the CMS 1500 Professional Claim Form. Now that you know how to create and manage claims for your payer records, the next step is to send claims for reimbursement. For step-by-step -step directions, FAQs, and other how-to videos on the Customer Setup section, visit our Knowledge Center at help.collaboratemd.com. Thanks for watching.